And 36-year-old Darren Pencil, who just minutes later would be involved in a deadly confrontation, turned violent. In images shown to the jury but too graphic to be released publicly, the victim is seen being stabbed 18 times in just 25 seconds. Darren Pencil admits possessing a knife but has pleaded not guilty to murdering Lee Pomeroy. Whilst most of Britain sleeps, a largely unseen army of workers are racing against the clock to ensure the country is ready for another day. Night shift is the only time things can get done, otherwise the country would come to a standstill. More than one in nine of us now work night shifts. We're only allowed to be here until seven o'clock in the morning, then our job's got to be complete. Maintaining vital services. They're blood bikes, I have some medication for you. Keeping vigil in all our communities and racing to get fresh food and supplies to our stores and doors. So if he doesn't get his van back tonight, the city's not going to get the pasties in the morning. <laughs> Many of the services we rely on never sleep. Night work can be tough, dangerous, solitary and exhausting. Gotta have eyes in the back of your head because uh, there is accidents can happen. I lost a finger. You're concerned that staff turn up every day. But it's essential to keeping the country on track. It gives a little wave when I leave a milk car. This is Britain's Night Force. We later learned the Willie they were looking for was Willie J. Hayes, who's charged with attempted homicide and ethnic intimidation. According to the criminal complaint obtained by Channel 11, surveillance video showed Hayes attack a man, punching him three times before throwing him onto the T-tracks. The black male actor made statements that he was going to kill the victim because he was white. The witnesses also told investigators that after the victim was lying unconscious on the tracks, Hayes looked down from the platform and allegedly said, quote, I expletive told you I was going to kill you.